Hey guys, and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. This time it's going to be a look at some of the new uh, Blizzard, well I guess, statues, that kind of thing, that have been shown off at San Diego Comic Con this year. So, first of all, I'm going to say some of these are just awesome. Like, really, really awesome. So the first thing we have is Kerrigan. Now, Kerrigan is not from World of Warcraft, she's from Starcraft. Very cool character, um, they're currently considering two versions. One of them is, like, the primal, like, really... Like crazy primal version that's in Heart of the Swarm, and the other one is the sort of standard Queen of Blades one. I think they both look pretty cool, but obviously we're going to have to see more of like detailing and stuff. So yeah, but overall though, that's looking pretty cool. And the next one is a statue of Jim Rayner, and this I want so badly. Just ah, oh, look at like look at this picture. It looks the detailing. Well, I suppose it's a polystone um, statue, so it's going to be very fantastically detailed. But pretty much everything from like the shading the sort of battle scars and stuff, they look fantastic, the face is really detailed, and I think that is pretty cool. I also noticed that in the uh, photo to the left there, um, there's an apple, now I don't know if this is an actual apple like a normal sized one, that would be a little bit weird, but I do know these can be rather big. The one they did recently of Arthas, which is $349, but gorgeous, is 19 inches tall, um, so yeah, crazy American units of measurement, but that's pretty damn big no matter what way you look at it. So the next one is Deathwing, now this is a early look, obviously it's not coloured or anything, and it's Deathwing on Stormwind perching on one of the towers of like the keep or whatever, and holy crap, this thing looks amazing. Um, the wingspan is one thing they've been touting, I don't know exactly what it is in like any sort of unit of measurement, but it looks pretty damn big. The detailing looks great, the scales look very, well, scaly, which I suppose is a good thing, and they've really done a great effect of making whatever material they're using, probably resin or something, um, sort of look, you know, the wings, they kind of look kind of flappy and leathery, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, that should be pretty nice. Now, the next thing they're talking about is Diablo. Now, there's a Diablo statue that was announced a while ago. It's going to be shipping in November. This is the, um, well, in Diablo 3, spoiler alert, 3, 2, 1, boom, you have the spoiler. Diablo is, like, uses a female host, so that's why this Diablo looks kind of more feminine than what you would have been used to in the older games. I th still think it's a really, really cool demonic-looking uh, figurine, and they're using LEDs in the eyes on loads of cool stuff. I'd, uh, I'd expect this would pro probably be quite expensive, but if you just look at the deta detailing in the close-up, it really is quite spectacular for a statue. So, um, yeah, now the other thing is they're also releasing a... Uh, this looks more like an action figure of Diablo, it doesn't... I don't know, maybe it's just a work in progress or something like that. Actually, no, I think it's a work in progress of the other one, it's just another shot. And yeah, it looks pretty cool, so that's it in terms of statues. Now, these statues... These are, like, the real collectible, you know, limited run, high quality shit. It's not, like, some little thing you buy in a toy shop or something. These are, like, you know, not for kids. These are proper collectibles. They're, like, 300 to $500, I'd say. Um, that kind of deal. And it's really something, if you have lots of disposable income and you're really a fan of these franchises. Like, honestly, if if these things were easily in my budget, I don't know how much they'll cost. But, like, if that Jim Rayner statue is within my budget... I have no qualms in buying it because I already kind of like collecting stuff. And also, it's just, it's a limited run, so those things go up in value. Like, I bought a sword about three months ago. It was a replica of Arya's sword from Game of Thrones, and it's already quadrupled in value since the limited run went out. So I was pretty happy with that. Now, the next thing is, there's these little things. I don't know what they're called, but I don't know. Is it chibi? I'm not really that big on all those different art styles, but these kind of like little chibi blizzard property things, they look pretty cool. And yeah, I actually, <laughs> I can see those being pretty, like, cool sitting on someone's desk or something. Now, the next thing is this insight stuff, and it looks like, basically, like, Blizzard brand and notebooks and stuff like that. And, you know, if you are going to have a notebook, I think these look really cool, especially, I think, the, uh, the Warcraft and the, um, the High Heavens Diablo one. I think they look great. The, um, the Dragon's Warcraft one. I think that's, uh, Syndragosa on the front. So, yeah, these are pretty cool, and I assume that the letters, like, the paper inside is all, like, letter-headed and stuff, which is nice. And there's another one called Diablo 3, the Book of Tyriel. I have no idea what actually is in the book, but what I do know is that the art in the front's fantastic. Um, the art in the inside cover is fantastic. It's bl oh, Blizzard art. And actually, Diablo art itself, I don't think the game was fantastic, but I, the art was just brilliant. So, yeah, that's a little roundup of, of all the different things that have came out of Comic-Con. If you have the money to buy these, then, uh, well, you're a lucky bastard and I envy you. And grats for having it. <laughs> yeah, that Jim Rayner statue, I I need to find a way to afford that. So, yeah. There we go. That's this video done. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you think these things are interesting. I certainly do, and I'll see you next time.